again, everybody. It's Todd Starooch, the horror nerd, here at the inaugural Catastrophic Con here at Reed Castle in upstate New York. We are having a blast today at this first time convention. A lot of great vendors and artists and authors and TV and movie stars. Speaking of which, <laughs> I have the pleasure of sitting here with my friend, Grandpa himself, John Dugan. Grandpa. Gra hi, hi, hi. John, how are you? Hey, okay, how you doing? Grandpa, I don't know what the hell I was saying. <laughs> so, how have you been? Well, I've been pretty well. <laughs> Good. <laughs> At least this year. <laughs> you know, I've had some health problems. Uh, Last five years, but yeah, but it I'm is good. Well it is good to see you out and about. You yeah, know, oh, yeah. doing conventions it's nice be, again. It's nice for you to see me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy for you to see me. A hundred percent. Yeah. So, uh, so speaking about being out and about, about we we you know when we met, we did our first interview several years ago, but. Does it ever still surprise you that after, what, it's 50 years, right, yeah. of now, Texas Chainsaw, that people are still so heavily invested in this movie to come I'm, out well, and yeah, meet you? I, I'm, I'm just blown away by it, really. Uh, I never thought it would make it to the screen, frankly. No, I knew it would make it to the screen, but I never thought it would ever be on television. You know, I remember Toby got pissed at me. We were in a... a a place called a Shootout, which uh, was an editing facility in Austin, Texas, watching the dailies, and it was on a an old steam back. It was state of the art then, 50 years ago, a steam back editing table, which had kind of a TV screen kind of thing. And Toby was taking some uh, gaffer tape, black gaffer tape, and going around the edge of the screen. I said, Toby, why are you doing that? He said, I don't see what it looks like when they cut it down for television. And I started laughing at him. <laughs> He's like, what? I said, seriously? Television? <laughs> What's the matter with you? You know. So. Yeah. I mean, I think with a lot of the movies from that era, nobody really had any idea no, what the longevity no. would be. No, not at you all. Know? And unfortunately, we were all young and naive and didn't know how to negotiate any kind of contract or anything. So, <laughs> But at least we had the conventions, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I made very little money making the film initially. But the money I've made over the years because of that film... If I'd have had all that money in one paycheck, I'd be—I'd have been dead by the time I was 22 years old. <laughs> I'd probably carry my uh, liver around in a wheelbarrow for a year or two and, and oh. then drop dead. Oh off, my God! And then fall off my bar stool. <laughs> I get it. And yet here we are. This movie is now listed uh, in the Library of Congress yep. as historically significant. Yeah, yeah. who to thunk it, right? Yeah. Basically, Museum a, of Modern a Art. House. I, I, uh, MoMA has a uh, copy of it. Uh, yeah, it's fucking wild. <laughs> Jeez. Right? <laughs> Smithsonian? Um, probably. <laughs> I think we might be. I, I honestly do think it might be in the Smithsonian. <laughs> it would not surprise me. You know, like Archie Bunker's chair. Isn't that mm. in the Smithsonian? Say again? Archie Bunker's oh, chair. Oh, Archie Bunker's chair? Yeah. The ruby slippers? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's great stuff. Yeah. Well, and the chainsaw. That. Like, yeah. who knows, right? <laughs> what the hell? Right? <laughs> uh, so, uh, now, there is a... Uh, there are a few, obviously, legendary stories about shooting the film, and mm -hmm. one of which that became part of lore is the dinner scene, and over time, just oh, man. how the, 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 the conditions in that room. Yeah, it was awful. Is that o overstating or understating? No, it's probably <laughs> understating. It was really terrible. And I, I was in all that latex makeup. Mm. And it was in the, high, in the middle of the 90s outside and inside with all the windows closed for sound reasons and blacked out and then lit with tungsten, not desktop, mm -hmm. tungsten was running really hot. So you got, you have fiber, we have fiber, two deuces, and a 
increase and increase and decrease and stuff like that. So we probably had 10,000 watts of light blasting on us. And it was cooking the fucking meat. Too slow, though. It was kind of... <laughs> wasn't hot enough to cook it, but it was hot enough to rot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah like right. Yeah, 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 which is worse. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, uh, and then the way that Toby shot, which I didn't understand until just recently it dawned on me, but uh, he did uh, a couple master shots, one from each side of the table and one from each end of the table. So like four masters and run the entire fucking thing. Then when he broke it up into two shots over the shoulders and close-ups, instead of just doing your close-ups in a couple of lines, all of us had to do the whole scene. Wow. Again. And again. And again. And again. <laughs> all these different shots. And I just thought it was wasting film, and I thought it was stupid. And, you know, and film stock is not cheap, and developing is not fucking cheap. Mm. And I, I thought, what's the fucking guy doing? <laughs> you know? And, uh... It kind of dawned on me when I was seeing it with an audience in Nashville, Tennessee, a couple years ago. And at the wonderful Belcourt Theater, Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you. I know the owner. So. <laughs> hey, listen, plug away. <laughs> hey, there's the old theater, which is a wide screen, a newer theater, a smaller screen, and they have a full bar and all sorts of food. <laughs> But, you know, I'm not plugging it or anything. <laughs> um, at the Belcourt Theater, and I watched that scene. And I thought, God damn, you can feel the tension in, the, in that scene is palpable. You can almost mm. feel it. The tension is so thick. The atmosphere, you know, and, and the way it, it builds up to a fucking crescendo. You know, with Grandpa fucking up the pant, you know, dropping this and that, and then she gets away and jumps through the window. And I, it dawned on me that that's what Toby was doing. He was grinding us down until we were all at each other's throats. Mm. And then when he got what he wanted, it was like, okay, cut, that's a wrap. Oh, 20. I was almost 30 hours in makeup. Wow. You know, with, with kind of, between the time I sat down in the makeup chair and the, and the time I got to get removed. Mm. And uh, so it was like 26, 26, I don't know. It was over 24 hours. We, yeah, we shot that. That day we shot from sunrise to sunrise, essentially. Wow. And uh, terrible heat, latex makeup. It was awful. They didn't pay me near enough. <laughs> Well, see, this is why I like talking to you because I always I love getting all this behind the scenes yeah, of course. stuff that puts things in context. Like now, when you watch the scene, I think about it and I'm like, "Oh my God, what these people were it going through." It was not through. necessary to do that, <laughs> you know. You know, for the filming purposes, it wasn't necessary to do that at all. It's probably pretty irresponsible to tell you the truth. But. He's dead, so I can say it ain't fucking dead now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> eh, yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're taking, I want some of it. <laughs> you're right here. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the camera. <laughs> you know, one thing it's funny about this movie, because so my, my daughter, who's helping me today. Hey, daughter. We have been getting caught up, like me showing her all of my favorite oh, movies. Yeah. Now, but, but given, like, the extreme extreme violence that is the norm today, you said something very important in the panel. People think they saw more in this film than they really did. Oh, absolutely. And it's cute, very tame compared to the some movies is, today. The way, they, the way that Toby shot and edited that film, um, the blood and guts was left to your imagination, mm -hmm. but he directed it so well that people didn't even fucking realize that, you know? And it was a wise choice because what you can imagine in your fucking sick mind is way more intense than anything we could do on camera. It sure. just is. Sure. So leave it up to the human mind, particularly of a, of a horror fan. You're taking some ugly fucking shit there, man. You know what I mean? That is true, my friend. That so is true. I think it was a wise choice that they... Uh, 
Yeah, he was going for rating. So he yeah, wanted, well, sure. He wanted a G. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? But, Most times it's what you don't see, right? The yeah. fact that the shark in Jaws didn't work half the time yeah. made it a better film because yeah. you don't see the shark as much. So yeah. I think it, it's the same thing in Texas Chainsaw. You don't see much of the violence. Yeah. The only real, the, 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 the hook and then the hammer to the back of the head is probably the two most brutal things. Yeah. And even that's tame by today's standards, yeah. you know? So I watch it with my daughter and she's like, I get it, like, Dad, why you like it, but eh, I've, yeah. seen, I've seen worse. <laughs> I watched all the Saw films yeah, the other night. I, I, <laughs> have a, I have a daughter as well. So. <laughs> She'll be 40 years old next year. Whew. Time marches on. Right? Yes, eventually without us. <laughs> yeah, well, on that note, <laughs> on that very positive note. Uh, hey, just because I'm a horror film actor doesn't mean I'm obsessed with death. <laughs> John, my friend, it is always good to see you. Thank you again for oh, a few yeah, minutes yeah. of it's, your it's time. It's always a pleasure. It's always to you. insightful, too. I wasn't kidding. I love hearing about the behind the scenes stuff, yeah. you know. Oh, everybody so, does. Um, I hope you continue to do well. I'm sure I'll see you at another con here out there. Yeah. And, folks, follow his exploits on social media. I'm telling you. Please do. But buckle up. <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> so, he's a good man. John Dugan, everybody here at Catastrophicon. I am Todd Starooch, the horror nerd, signing off. We will see all of you in the next interview. Bye-bye.